everyone, this is Ontario coming to you from my home in Brooksville, Florida. I wanted to take a few minutes of your time just to go over a very simple concept uh, based on Tony Robbins' teachings. This is based on a mindset strategy you can use to literally achieve anything you want in your life. Um, this, this strategy I used back in 2006 when I left my job uh, that I had felt that I wasn't making a difference in anybody's life anymore and I'd hit a brick wall and it was time for a change. This is also the same strategy that my mentor in Numis Network, Ray Higdon, had used when he was in financial uh, you know, he was in financial devastation, he was in foreclosure, bankruptcy and he was facing uh, some very dire circumstances in his life and he used the same mind stretch, mindset strategy uh, first introduced by Tony Robbins to rise from the ashes and now he's a million dollar earner in our company. So this also works for weight loss, giving up bad habits, uh, dealing with a broken relationship. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, a motive, mind, mindset strategy to help you move forward in life when you feel like something's really holding you back. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over with you is everybody has the same potential. Everybody's potential is the same. No matter who you are, no matter where you are in your life right now, we all have the same potential. It's just a matter of unleashing it, all right? And so our belief in ourselves and what we can achieve for ourselves in our life, okay, our beliefs in what we can achieve and our beliefs in what we deserve are limited, whether it be from, from past failures, from... The, our inner circle, the people that uh, bring us down and don't promote our growth, uh, the people who are simply um, existing to live and not, you know, they're just they're just existing. Okay, they will they will they will crap on your dreams and they will bring you down and they will tell you you cannot have what you want. All right, so. This is, this is what happens, okay? That lowers your belief in what you can ach achieve for yourself, okay? So therefore, you think you don't have the potential to do it. So you take very little action in your life, very little action, okay? Therefore, you get very little results. And when you get very little results, you come back to this process and you say, I told you this didn't work, or I told you I couldn't do this. I, you know, and then you, your self-confidence about yourself is diminished even more because you did try but you didn't you didn't achieve and so when you try and you don't achieve you feel like giving up okay you feel like giving up and throwing in the towel so what sh what has to happen is there has to be a shift in your mindset and when you reach a point like Ray did and like I did where you don't have any any choice okay he he was in a financial crisis, I was in a personal crisis, okay? We both used the same concept to get out of our rut and to, to come out of, of the circumstances, okay? I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I said, I don't like who you are, something's gotta change. Something shifted in my mind and I walked out the door without a plan, all right? I left the hospital. I knew I wasn't work, walking away from anything. I knew I was walking towards a better life. There was a better life for me but beyond those hospital doors. And so, someone said to me, as I was taking three months and reevaluating my life, I was puttering in a friend's yard, and I was, I was doing some pulling some trees out and landscaping because I grew up in a potato farm. So to me, it was nothing. I was just doing that to pass time. And she said, "You have a real talent for landscaping." And I said, "You think?" I said, and she's like, "Yeah, you should build a business." I said, "I don't know anything about, about business." She said, "Don't worry about that. Okay, I'll take care of that part. What you need to worry about is just doing the job." So that person instilled the belief in me that I didn't even have in myself, okay? She saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So the belief in my potential increased. I went out and I took action, okay? I started doing some jobs for some people, okay? Did some jobs for some people, started making some money. Wow, I can market these skills, okay? Come back here. Me a thousand dollars a week, pretty good. Came back here. My belief in myself, my self confidence rose. I said to myself, "Wow, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, talk to more people about what I do and see if they're interested in having me work for them." 
okay? So my potential never changed. Your potential is your potential's already there. Your potential never changed, okay? So then I took more action. I talked to more people, okay? I got more results, okay? I made more money. And so there came a point where there wasn't a single person in the world that could say anything to me that would make me believe that I was less than I wanted for myself. Not a single person. And trust me, there was people raining on my parade every day, all right? And you will have that, okay? Your circle of influence, whoever they are, will rain on your parade. And one of my, my, one of my customers was a psychologist, and she explained to me why these people were doing what they were doing to me. And it was out of envy, because they don't think that they can do this themselves. So if that's not motivation enough, to kick it into high gear and to prove them wrong, I don't know what is. So I kicked it into high gear, all right? I got doctors, I got lawyers, cardiac surgeons, I got everybody hiring me, okay? So that whole thing made, brought my belief process to a huge, huge, huge thing, okay? So what I want to tell you, okay, two things. Don't allow your past failures in anything you've tried, whether it be home business, Weight loss, giving up bad habits, a uh, relationship with someone. Okay, don't allow those past failures and experiences to dictate your future. Okay, because they're in the past for a reason, all right? Don't look in the rear view mirror. You need to look forward. Because if you keep dwelling on what's back there, okay, your belief in yourself is going to continue to be inhibited because subconsciously we always bring those thoughts back we always bring those thoughts back once you can flip that switch okay is what I did what Ray did okay once you can flip that switch into high gear and say I'm gonna bust walls down I'm gonna clear clear the aisle of negative people in my life okay either you either come to my own way of thinking or or you're gone and and I did that and I did that to a lot of people okay they're not the ones paying my bills, okay? They're not the ones supporting my growth, okay? If they want to live in their mediocrity and their and their depressive lifestyle, that's that's up to them. All right? I choose to surround myself with people who promote my growth and encourage me to grow on a daily basis. So, those people don't matter. The people that matter to me are the people that want a better lifestyle. The people that matter to me are the people that support my growth. The people that matter to me are the people that think in the same fashion and want to help other people discover they already have the potential. Okay, they already have the potential to do and be anything they want. So, like I said, this whole concept can be used in any Anything you're struggling with in your life, if you're building a home business, it doesn't matter what company you're building. Maybe you had some bad experiences in the past, okay? For whatever reason, doesn't make any difference, all right? That goal that you had for yourself and for the person that you wanted to be is still there. It's still there. It has not changed because in the back of your mind, you're probably still thinking about it every single day. I should have. I coulda, I woulda, okay? Don't do that anymore, okay? Just take action, because the minute you see, start seeing the results, that shoulda, coulda, woulda is gonna disappear, okay? It's gonna disappear from your life, okay? So you need to understand that you have to do whatever it takes, whether it's ditching the negative people in your life, creating a different circle of friends, um, surrounding yourself with people who encourage your growth, getting with people who are getting the results you want and, and growing into a, a, the person that you really, really, truly want to be and creating the lifestyle you deserve, all right? So, you know, as part of my company, you know, I'm in a wealth creation company, Numis Network. You know, we focus on wealth creation, but let me tell you, the ways I have grown since I've been part of their family, there are things that I have learned about myself and about other people 
and about discovering what's really important in this life is something that I never learned in a job, I never could learn in a book. You couldn't put a newspaper article in front of me and, and teach me these things. It's a process, okay? I never saw it at a convention. I never saw it at any type of, of meeting, okay? These are the things that I have grown into, okay? Yeah, my, my goal, my ultimate goal is, is wealth creation and, and financial freedom for everybody. But the first step is that convincing you, if you're one of these people, okay, first you have to convince yourself that you deserve this because wealth and abundance surrounds us all. With the economy in dire straits, okay, most of you don't think that it will ever come to fruition for you. I'm here to tell you it can. But you first have to believe in yourself. Convince yourself first. If you're not ready to convince yourself first, this is nothing I can help. There's nothing I can do to help you. That's why I'm very particular about who I help. Okay? So, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Once you believe in yourself and you believe that you can have it, okay, you will get it. I guarantee it. Because this whole process will start on its own. Subconsciously, it's just you're going to get a momentum and you're going to see exactly how this whole thing works. And this is an amazing, amazing process, an amazing experience in your life. I don't fly out of bed in the morning to run after the to e-wallet or, or check my bank account, okay? That's not why I fly out of bed. I fly out of bed every morning to inspire people and to help them see that they already have the potential to create the type of lifestyle that they truly want and deserve. And that is a beautiful feeling. This is Ontario. I thank you for listening. You deserve abundance. You can have and you can do anything you want. Keep that in mind and have a nice day. Thanks so much.